Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. I don't like losing people either. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses in Torfin? We accept death when we put on the uniform, Chief. If you can't deal with that, retire. I could never do that. Not before and definitely not now. I have to be worth Caden's life. What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. Odds aren't the whole story. Who'd think one shore party in a platoon of Solarians could take out a major base? I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. That's what I expect from all my people. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. So long, Rex. Shepard. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. He knew what the risks were. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control.
If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. I hate being right. I wish I could say I was surprised. I was surprised Udina bought into it. I guess he's like any other politician. The Council's used to being the biggest kid on the playground. They don't want to believe Daddy's coming to pick them up. And eat them, I guess. I don't care if I have to go to President Huerta. I won't sit back and wait for the Reapers to start killing people. Whatever you come up with, you can count me in. I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know, so I'll do you a favor. Just this once. I... want you to be happy. Whatever you need, I'll help. There. You made me say it. Boom goes my feminine mystique. I didn't think you'd want mystique. I've always thought of you as the take charge type. Oh, I can take charge if you want. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. Sounds important. You'd better go. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. You had to know what was going to happen. Why didn't you warn me? I tried. The ambassador wouldn't let me get a message through before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone.
If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area, patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not going to let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason. A capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. If you're lucky, the patrols won't catch you. I'll be careful. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? They still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here, waiting for you. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Sir, this is a restricted area. Sir, you can't... Freeze! Back away from the console! Hands up! Now! out of here, Joker. Now!
Skipper. For now. The Alliance has to catch me before they can strip my rank. We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. There was no other way. And you'll always be the Skipper to me. Oh, Captain, my Captain. First Alfred Tennyson, now Walt Whitman. You're full of surprises. Dad loved all those sappy poets. Mom was more into Plath. I'm not a word person, Shepard. Other people say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers, sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. Just call us humanity's best and brightest. We wouldn't have been assigned to this ship if we weren't. We'll get it done. And if we don't, at least we won't have to face the firing squad. Death closes all. But something ere the end, some work of noble note, may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that strove with gods. We'll get home again, Shepard. I believe you'll lead us through. Oh, Captain. My Captain. It occurs to me that this might be our last night alive. Got any plans? Trying a frontal assault. All that training, you'd think they'd teach you the best approaches indirect. To draw the enemy out of their fixed defenses. There are regs against this, you know. You ready to deal with the consequences? I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done, I had to bury a lot of things. During that whole time, not even once did I feel like I was worth what I was fighting for. You make me feel good enough. Bunk here tonight, Ash. With me. Bold word, Shepard. I like bold. Shut up and get over here. Make me. That's a whole new spin for on the floor and give me 20, huh? <laughs> you still sassing me, soldier? I think you need more physical training. Tisk. Now, what will it take to prove I'm in prime condition, Skipper? Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. Well, duty calls. Get up to the bridge, Skipper. I've got other weapons to check out. Hey, Shepard. Whatever happens down there, I just wanted to say... Wait, you know what? I'm not telling you. You want to hear this? You'll just have to come back to me. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker! Drop us right on top of that bastard.
have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again.
place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after you went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happened. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. It cannot be stopped. It cannot be stopped.
I have spent my life studying the Prophians, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why. I'm sorry. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. What is happening? It's a trap. Sarah must have set an ambush. I do not think Saren is behind this. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I...